If you're here, I'm guessing you're feeling a little overwhelmed, wondering what steps you need to take to build a successful sleep consultancy business. Well, if that's you, don't worry, because that is totally normal and I've got you covered. Because in this video, I'm going to break down the exact steps to build a thriving sleep consultancy business from scratch. And each section builds on the previous one. So you got to make sure that you watch until the end to get the full picture. And when we're done, well, you're going to have a clear roadmap to launch your career as a confident, skilled sleep consultant. And this is not just theory. So take a look at one of our sleep consultants, Claire Fair. She joined our program after having done two certifications, but was struggling with confidence and only had a handful of clients. And actually after working with us, she transformed her business. And within a year, she was growing so fast that she had to bring on extra help to keep up with the demand. And this kind of transformation isn't magic. It's about following a structured process. So building your sleep consultancy business is like constructing a house, like you need solid foundations to support everything that comes next. And the steps that I'm going to be showing you today are the essential building blocks. All right, so let's get to it. Step number one, understanding the sleep coaching landscape. So the first concern you might have is, is there really a demand for sleep coaching? And the answer is absolutely. So over the past decade, sleep coaching has exploded. More people are realizing the importance of getting support rather than just kind of struggling alone. And this shift has really helped to normalize sleep coaching. And actually parents turn to sleep coaches for various reasons. Some seek education while others need empowerment and reassurance. Some need a quick tip to ease their routine while others are in crisis, urgently seeking sustainable solutions. And not everyone wants the same package either. Like some prefer one-off consultations, others comprehensive support packages, and many are interested in group sessions or workshops. So here's the bottom line. The need for quality sleep coaching is huge, both locally and internationally. Parents recognize the value of professional sleep support. And as we move forward, we're going to dive deeper into how to tap into that demand effectively. And if you're serious about becoming a sleep consultant and want to fast track this process, then this is what we do. And you can click the link below to book a call with us. All right. So step two, acquiring relevant training. So the big question is, can you rely solely on personal experience to set up as a sleep coach? Technically, yes. But would you trust a mechanic who's only fixed their own car? Probably not. So although personal experience is valuable and many of our grads have a ton of personal experience supporting their own children or through another role supporting families with sleep at a basic level, that's rarely enough. To truly succeed, you need comprehensive training that provides the depth of knowledge and skills necessary to handle various client issues effectively. So how do you choose the right training? Like you want to find a program that aligns with your values. And at the Holistic Sleep Coaching Program, we are responsive and evidence-based with a holistic approach. And the clinical lead for our program is Lindsay Hookway, who's written numerous books and academic journals. So you want to choose trainers with real experience and proven results. Really look at how long have they been in business? Do they have a track record of success? And when it comes to the program curriculum, like look for a comprehensive program that covers sleep biology and techniques while aligning with your views on parenting and sleep. And some programs focus on traditional methods while others offer a more responsive approach. And also consider if the program provides business and marketing support, or you know if you need to find that independently. And when it comes to the accreditations and the certifications in the sleep coaching field, well, there's no standard qualification and no regulation. And certifications through awarding bodies like Open College Network or CPD are common, but certainly here in the UK, the OCN certification is highly regarded and gives you the reassurance that you're receiving a high level of training that's consistently verified externally. And our program, for example, is accredited at level six by OCN, so Open College Network work, which is foundation degree level, and it's the highest level in the field. Now, you also want to choose programs that offer ongoing support because where you are right now is not where you're going to be in six months time or a year's time or three years time in business. So lots of programs offer this for a short period of time. Um, some offer a membership option as well after the training. But for us, well, we offer ongoing mentorship and coaching calls twice a week 
to keep you on track when you're working with clients and when you're growing your business. So, you know, you want to shop around, see what feels good for you. What's the right amount of support that's really going to help you grow? And ultimately, you're going to be investing a few thousand dollars or pounds in your training. So it's a big decision and you want to make sure that it feels right. Okay, step number three, legalities and business setup. So setting up your business legally is a must. Like you need the right structure to start strong. And so if you go with a sole trader setup, well, you get full control, but your personal assets are at risk. Partnerships let you share responsibilities and profits, but a limited company separates your personal and business liabilities, giving you kind of more protection. Now, most sleep consultants start as a sole trader because it's simple, but you know, you got to pick what feels right for you and your goals. And listen, it's always smart to talk to legal or financial experts to make sure that you're compliant and you're fully protected. Okay, step number four, naming your business. So choosing the right name for your sleep consultancy business is super important, but a lot of times people get super stuck on this. So let's make it simple with three options. Number one, choose a descriptive name. So something clear and straightforward, like, you know, better sleep solutions. Or two, um, choose an abstract name. So something unique and memorable, like Lunar Rest. Or three, finally, you know, a personal name. So choose your own name, like in my case, Emma Dewey Sleep Consulting. So pick a name that feels right for you and your clients and just make sure that the domain is available and then go ahead and trademark it to protect your brand. Okay, so let's move on to step number five, which is picking a domain name. So once you've got your business name, it's time to secure your domain and keep it simple and easy to remember. And here's how, so use your name. If your business name is your own name, go for something like emmadewey.com or emmadeweysleepconsulting.com. And what you want to do is avoid hyphens and numbers. Like these can cause typos and make your domain harder to remember. So that's a biggie. You also want to check availability. So make sure the domain is available and there's no existing trademarks to avoid any legal headaches. And then you want to buy similar domains. So consider grabbing um, the domain like emmadewey.co.uk if you've already got emmadewey.com. And that's helpful because it's going to avoid mix-ups and capture potential traffic from common misspellings. So the key message here is to make sure your domain is clear and it's easy to remember. So now that your business name and domain name are sorted, let's focus on reaching your clients. So step number six, setting up your social media. So the thing here is that you really want to find where your idle clients are hanging out. And a lot of the time that is going to be on social media. So you want to connect with them effectively and you want to be active on the platforms that they're on. Um, you know, are they on Instagram? Are they on Facebook? But they're probably on both. And if your preferred social media handle is taken, like don't stress, just add an underscore or a dash. The key thing is the content that you post. That's what's really going to connect you to your community. And if they feel connected to you, they're going to find you. Okay, step number seven, business email and calendar. And the thing here is that we've got to set up professional communication systems and we need an email address and a solid calendar system. And I recommend G Suite for that process. So here's the deal. You want to use a tool like Calendly so clients can book discovery calls through a link and it syncs directly to your calendar. It blocks off time automatically and that all gets done. Uh, and this same process applies to scheduling actual consultations. And it just makes the whole booking process smooth and professional and quick. And we like quick. Now, step number eight, setting up contracts and legal boundaries. So these are crucial for your client relationships, whether it's defining the, the length of the consultation session, follow-up support, or your specific areas of expertise. Like clarity is key. So you want to make sure every critical detail, like how you handle payments, protect privacy and manage liabilities, like you want it all spelled out in a contract. And this isn't just best practice. It's you safeguarding yourself against confusion and ensures everything runs smoothly. And I know it might be tempting to copy someone else's contract, but don't do it. Like you want to make sure that your business is watertight. And there are plenty of companies with templates created by legal professionals, or you can have a professional review or draft one for you. Okay, so with your contracts and legal boundaries set up, let's move to step number nine. And this is about securing the right insurance. So insurance is crucial because you're giving professional advice and you need to protect yourself. So professional indemnity insurance 
is essential. And if you're working in someone's home or they're coming to yours, you want to consider public liability insurance as well. And if you're offering online consultations and storing client information online, well, cyber fraud insurance is a must. Okay, so let's talk about payments. So you need to make it easy and secure for clients to pay you, whether it's through your website, uh, an email link, or another method. And the top options for accepting payments are Stripe and PayPal. Now, personally, I lean towards Stripe. They've got great customer service and they've got lower fees. So here's how it works. Someone pays you and the payment processor takes a little cut and it's just part of doing business like you want to keep it smooth simple and keep it smooth okay step number 11 financial management and record keeping so getting real with numbers is crucial and actually when i first started out i ignored the numbers i just kind of thought that they didn't matter as long as i wasn't in the red but here's the deal like knowing your numbers is essential it removes uncertainty and it sharpens your focus on growth and sustainability. So you need to know what activities yield results. So how many partners you need um, to contact for collaborations and how many of those convert into clients, for example. So out of 10 collaborations, you might get three clients and from those one might convert. And this helps you figure out how many activities you need to secure uh, more clients every month. So knowing your numbers also helps you pinpoint your break-even point when you're making a profit. And this is essential for setting your prices and making strategic decisions. And actually in our program, we simplify this process. Like we teach our grads how to track calls, partnerships, marketing activities, and so much more. Okay, step number 12, effective record keeping and data management. Now, record keeping and data management aren't just about staying organized. Like they're crucial for legal compliance and the safeguarding of your client's confidentiality and sticking to regulations like GDPR. So you need to ensure every piece of client information is securely managed and easily accessible. So I recommend using a digital cloud storage system like Google Drive or Dropbox to create a structured folder system. And this is gonna streamline your record keeping processes and you need to be vigilant about how you handle client data. So define how long you retain their information and ensure it's only kept as long as necessary. And if you're in the UK, you wanna get familiar with the Information Commissioner's Office, so ICO, uh, and you wanna look at their guidelines and just make sure that you're registered. Okay, step number 13, identifying your niche and knowing your idle client. So when you set up your sleep consultancy business, you want to stand out and you wanna attract clients. So you gotta think about what makes your approach unique. Like you don't need to have it all figured out from day one, but you wanna start broader and then work with various families to get really confident and then let your niche find you as you gain experience. So you wanna focus on what excites you. And this really does take a little bit of time. So take Isadora, who's one of our graduates, and she found her niche, which is helping families who really want to um, safely co-sleep with their children. And this is something she has a ton of experience in and is something that she's so good at promoting on her platforms. And what's amazing is that she attracts so many of her right clients. Like the algorithm knows where to place her and everything is aligned. Uh, so her courses, her guides, her one-to-one, -one, it's all geared towards supporting that type of client. And of course, they know how to find her and it makes it easier for Isadora to put out content because she's not trying to do all the things. She is focused on speaking to one specific client. And that means that she has exploded online, which is incredible. Okay, and of course you need to know your idle client inside out. Where do they seek help? What are their pain points? Start by joining a Facebook group groups and forums, provide insightful responses to sleep related questions to stand out as an authority. And you also want to connect with professionals who serve a similar audience to you as well. Okay, step number 14, choosing the right business model. So choosing a business model is crucial to setting up a structure that aligns with your goals, with your lifestyle, and also your financial targets. So first, what you want to do is outline your business objectives, like the target market, services being offered, pricing strategies, and marketing plans. And this is your roadmap to success. So you want to think about what do you want your business to look like? Do you want to 
fit it around your family schedule? If so, consider when you do your consultations, determine your financial goals. For instance, if your aim is to earn three to 5K a month, you gotta work backwards to figure out how many consultations you need. And this might be a mix of three larger packages and four short ones, for example. And you wanna consider what you enjoy doing. Like, do you love working in small groups? Maybe running workshops is your thing. Maybe you prefer one-to-one -one sessions. You know, you gotta focus on that if that's the case. And if you're curious about popular sleep coaching methods, you wanna check out this video linked here for more insights on that. It's gonna be really helpful. Okay, so this wraps up our video on building a successful sleep consultancy business covering everything from securing insurance to managing finances and finding your niche. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below. And if you're ready to take the next step towards a fulfilling career as a sleep consultant, click the link below to book a personal call with us. We'd love to learn more about your goals and see if we are a great fit to support you. All right. Bye for now.